Hey everyone, and welcome back to the galaxy. Today, we will be learning how to make any photo in GIMP pop. I'm starting with two different images, so we can go over techniques on different types of photographs. We will be using the Levels dialog. First, click on the layer you want to edit. Then, access the Levels dialog by going up to Colors, down to Levels. I will leave the channel set to Value, which will look at all colors in our photograph. I will also make sure Split View is checked, so we can judge the effect against the original photograph. Making slight adjustments with this top slider bar will allow you to progress through different types of effects. It's best to have your end goal in mind before editing these values. For example, I want to increase the darkness of portions of this photograph to help give some of the background buildings more dimension and clarity. I also want to give the appearance of more color and depth on the rooftop. Each arrow here represents a range of colors in your photograph. The first arrow on the left represents shadows. The second arrow in the middle represents midtones. And the third arrow represents highlights. Sliding any of these areas to the right will darken parts of our image. And in contrast, sliding any of these arrows to the left will lighten parts of our image. As I mentioned before, I want to bring out some of the darker portions and colors. To do this, I will drag the far left arrow closer to the right. This will increase the appearance of darker colors and parts of the image, but notice how lighter portions remain the same. If we want to adjust the lighter portions, we can edit this far right arrow. Dragging it closer to the left will help make the light portions pop. As I do this on my photograph, I can increase the amount of contrast between the shadow and highlight portions to create more interest and depth, or simply make the photograph look more interesting. Look at the drastic difference we've created by just editing these slider bars slightly. Since the midtone range covers a large number of values in the image, if we adjust this middle triangle, the overall appearance of our photograph gets darker or lighter. Remember, we want to make small changes. Huge changes will end up looking pixelated and poorly edited. Also, if at any time you want to reset the settings in the Levels dialog, simply click Reset Channel to reset the slider bar, or Reset to reset all settings. Let's try this method on a different photograph. In this photograph, I really want to highlight the night sky and make it stand out. I want to make the sky darker, but still maintain the star's brightness. First, I will experiment with the far left slider to increase the darkness of the sky. I don't really want to mess with the highlight slider, because in moving it to the left, the orange light will also get amplified along with the stars. Instead, I will use the mid-tone slider to increase the darkness of the overall image until I'm happy with the mood. Now our sky really pops. You can refine the skill by finding photos you like the appearance of and using them as a reference when editing your own photos. Small changes with the Levels dialog can really make a huge difference. And that's it. You now know how to simply edit photos to make them more visually interesting with a few clicks. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, consider subscribing for more awesome content. Let us know if you found this tutorial helpful by liking this video and leaving us a comment. Thanks for watching.